Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum Welcome back to Ali Raja Bagan 2020 Part 17 I am your host Akibullah I am Ali Raja Asalaamu Alaikum In this video we'll be giving you tips to get more chilies from your chili plant and we will also try to answer some of your questions that you may have raised on the comment section and as always we'll be giving you an update on our vegetable garden so don't skip, watch the video till the end and please don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado dad, let's start growing chilies. Let's start gardening. We'll be giving you five tips to get more chilies from your chili plant. Dad, what is the first tip? Now the first tip is watering. Watering is so important. Too much water and your plant will drown. Not enough water your plant won't grow so we want to be somewhere in the middle not dry neither wet moist many of you watching this video are new to gardening and you don't know how often you should water your chili plants so let's make life simple for you this is a plant moisture meter and it shows the water level of your plant these plant moisture meters you can buy them from your local gardening centers or online. They cost about roughly about 10 pound and they are a fantastic tools to have to check your plants level, uh, water level. So let me show you how to use this plant moisture meter. This is a three way meter. It checks your pH level of the soil, the lighting and the moisture. For this purpose we'll be using it for the moisture so make sure the button is clicked onto the moisture um, moisture option so what you will need to do is stick your tool into the soil two inches down but make sure it's not too close to the stem you don't want to damage the stem push the meter down into the soil about two inches let let's check the meter reading let can you see on the left side there's a red section with that is dry you don't want your plant to be on that side and in the middle there's a green section that's moist that's where you want ideally where you want your plant to be and on the right section it's wet um you don't want the water to go above that or the plant will just flood and it won't be able to take any nutrients so uh, ideally you want your plant to be on the moist section this meter reading is showing us that this soil in this pot doesn't need any more water at, in it at this stage let's check the water level on this matured plant I don't know if you can see this but the needle is pointing at the red section that means the soil is really dry we need to add some water to this plant over here it's best not to water your plant every day you want to water your plant about an inch until you see water dripping out of the bottom of the container We have just watered this plant. Let's, let's test the moisture. Oh wow, it's on the blue section. That's good. It's not too high on the blue section. It's not too wet. This is good. It means that we don't have to water our plant for another day. But of course we'll be checking it time to time. Okay, so tip number two. How to prevent disease and aphid attack on your chili plant. Now, aphid is the uh, green or the black bugs that you get on your uh, chili leaves if you get aphid attack you're not going to get many chilies on your plants so it's prevention is better than cure we tend to spray aspirin on your on our chili plant every three to four weeks from early stage and if you see if you, if i show you our chilies our chilies chili plants are doing really well we don't have any disease or any aphid attacks no bugs on our chili plant we expect our chili plant to do really well wow beautiful tea thank you Akib. Akib makes fantastic tea 
Aspirin. Aspirin has a component called salicylic acid. I, when you spray aspirin uh, regularly on your chili plant, it will help build a stronger immune system for the plant. It will help fight disease better and it will prevent aphid attack or the bugs that you get onto your uh, uh, chili leaves. I use about two tablets of uh, aspirin, regular aspirin tablet in one gallon of water. Uh, each, tab each tablet contains about 300 milligrams, so I'm going to be using 600 milligrams onto one gallon of water and I'll spray onto the chili plants and I do that every three to four weeks. Okay, so I'm adding two disposable aspirin into one gallon of water, so that's 300 milligram of tablet. Um, so that's two tablets, that's 600 milligram and make sure they're dispersable. Make sure it's properly dissolved into the water. Uh, help it dissolve by stirring the water. The best time to spray aspirin onto your chili plant it would be early morning so that it can dry off before the evening. You don't want to uh, leave your chili leaves dry, uh, wet during the night time. So best time will be in the morning. Give it a good spray, soak it properly all around the plant. Give it a nice on the top of the leaf and under the leaves and some into the ground, some under the soil. Spray some in the soil. If you already have aphid attack, if you, uh, the best thing to do would be put some washing up liquid, soap uh, into a gallon of water and add some neem oil. You can buy neem oil from your local pharmacy. So I would say about two, ta two, uh, two tablespoons of washing up liquid and add two teaspoons of neem oil into a gallon of water and spray thoroughly onto the chili plant, onto all the leaves. Uh, wipe off bugs from every leaves from the chili plant and that's the only way you can get them off but remember prevention is better than cure now before we move into the third tips if you want to buy some of our chili plant uh, we'll be selling a lot of this chili plant from next week we will leave, I will leave my email in the link in the description down below if you want to buy, uh, buy some of the chili plants from us email me with your telephone number uh, and I will contact you uh, by WhatsApp. I will send you pictures of the plant and I will tell you how much uh, there will be different prices for different plants. So if you're interested in blind chili plants, please email me. Uh, email me with your telephone number and I will contact you by WhatsApp. It's a collection only. You have to collect the plant from East London. We are based in Barking and Dagenham. Tip number three. We need to protect our young chili plants from harsh weather. These are some of our young chili plants. Today has been extremely hot. We have, moving, we have been moving these young plants one place to another around our garden. We don't want to expose these young plants to harsh sunlight for too long. What you could do is keep these plants in um, sunlight for a few hours then move them to a shady place for a few hours. If it's too windy, take them indoors. If it's too rainy, take them indoors. And if it's just too cold, take them indoors or put them in a place where it's warm. Tip number four, spray Epsom salt on your chili plants every three to four weeks in addition to your normal fertilizer. Epsom salt enhances the green color of the chili leaves and it also makes the plant more bushier it produces more flowers therefore it means you'll get way more chilies step number five in order to get more chilies in your chili plant prune your chili plant from early early age when your chili plant gets about 10 to 12 inch tall prune them so that you get side stems and not one tall langy stem Okay, so get a sharp, sharp scissors. 
and you want to you want to cut off the growth stem of the chili chili plant uh, try to cut uh, try to cut off uh, above the biggest leaf of the plant so I'm going to actually chop it just above these leaves and uh, cut them in an angle right, this is the growth stem I just cut off uh, from this chili plant don't be frightened to cut off your growth stem of your chili plant it will help produce a lot more side stems therefore you, you will get a lot more chilies from your chili plant we got really good news that will definitely make you happy dad should we tell them the good news i think we should so last week my dad had an email from bbc news round they were interested to make a program with me in it we had we had an email last week from bbc uh, news round they want they want to make a program with Aki so they asked us whether we would be interested obviously I was delighted, we were to, delighted make to say yes we were discovered uh, uh, through our YouTube channel and the shout out goes to you guys it was you guys who made it possible for us to be discovered in uh, by BBC we couldn't not have done this without you it was all you guys it was all the support that you have been showing us for the last one year taking our subscription to more than 10,000 now BBC is interested in making a program with that with me I never thought this uh, this would come true my dad was making jokes that um, imagine me going BBC uh, see like no, a few Akil, weeks I wasn't ago. making jokes I knew one day you would be discovered somewhere by somebody so inshallah uh, they will be uh, recording this coming Monday and in two weeks time they will be broadcasting in BBC News, News Round. Round we will keep you informed so stay tuned for that uh, Stay and tuned for that and watch us on BBC News Round. Let's give you an update on our vegetable garden. This year we've been doing lots of different things and this is our upside down tomato plant and mashallah is already starting to produce tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes. So this is an upside down tomato uh, growing technique that we're doing something new this year and Ashley is doing pretty good yeah. uh, it's already starting to produce uh, tomatoes now the purpose of this uh, upside down tomatoes so that we can uh, we can use all the spaces so this space would normally be empty uh, so at the bottom we are actually growing something I'll be growing some um, muki here so we are using this space to grow muki okay. and it also creates a nice shade onto this cucumber plant so we're not getting too much sun onto them you can buy one of these upside down tomato planters from like your from Amazon or something it's, it costs us about four or five pounds yeah. uh, the, 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 this is something uh, this is something different yeah I actually made a video on um, how to plant tomatoes upside down and how to take care of tomato plants we're going to be posting that video really soon so stay tuned for that I have a bad news to share with you on the last few videos I've been showing you a bottle gourd plant in this greenhouse and they were producing uh, laos uh, I, in fact I had four of them and I was hoping to show you big lao in this video but two or three days ago I noticed these hodus are not getting any bigger for the last two weeks they were stunned and so I began investigating why they're not growing big what I found the root in this container has rotted some disease or something has rotted the root so we had to dig that plant out and throw it away and I'm left with this small banglalau. Normally, on the beginning of June, we normally get big laus in this greenhouse. But this year hasn't been so great for us. But nevertheless, it's not the end of the season. I'm hoping to get many banglalaus on the outside. And I still have one more plant left here. Inshallah, it will produce plant. Life, in life, you'll have upside down. Same in gardening, you'll have ups and downs. So don't be disheartened if you're losing your plants. We're trying something very, very different, different this year. So wish us luck. This is hydroponic planting. This is an 80 litre container just filled with water. 
just filled with water and we're adding nutrients into the water we're planting our banglala without any soil only water so basically basically we're trying to grow uh, uh, banglala for the first time in water hydrophonic planting planting yeah this is a 80 liter uh, um, water tank container and we've got water inside and we have two plants in them and we are feeding the plant neutron through the water, water. Uh, let me show you the roots okay let's oh my god look at this Whoa, there's so much these are the root is developing into the water and uh, so this is something something new for us we haven't done this before so wish us luck this year we're doing lots of different stuff upside down to uh, growing upside down tomatoes these, growing these, upside these down are, chilies these, these are upside down chili plants we're trying to grow these one these um these containers are homemade we made them ourselves but the upside down tomato one we bought them from the shop but this one we made um, ourselves pure they're doing really good wow look at our sisinda they're looking really healthy oh we're getting quite a few sisinders this year can you see they're looking mashallah they look really nice yep yep they're looking great and uh, i'm hoping to hoping they will get bigger in about a week's time and okay maybe we can cook something and show it to everyone how yeah. we cook them that would be a really good video that would be a fantastic video yeah it would just in case if you haven't seen some of our cooking videos, uh, Akib is a good cook. Yeah, I'm a really good chef. Um, we, we make quite a few cooking videos. We'll, we'll leave you link in the description down below. Maybe uh, take a look at that. Yeah, we'll leave the, some cooking videos in the link. Oh, I got hiccups. In the link in the description down below. So please don't forget to check them out. We've been getting lots of mishti lao this year. Look at this baby. Oh wow, I can look at this mishti lao. Look at this baby. Look at the size of these babies. They're massive. Mishti lao is really good for making dessert. Dessert. Uh, not only for curries. I yeah. know uh, we used to make lao curries and stuff, but it's also good for making, for making desserts. desserts. Have you ever made pumpkin pie with your homegrown mishti lao or squash? I have and I've made a video on it. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave the link in the description down below. So please don't forget to check that out. Pumpkin pie is one of my favourite dessert. It's delicious when you have it with whipped cream. Mmm. And especially with your homegrown mishti lao. Mmm. This tomato plant is looking really nice and healthy. We actually got these tomato seeds from Bangladesh Chard Pool. Um, have you seen my Bangladesh tour videos? They're really interesting. I advise you to go check them out. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So please don't forget to check them out. They're really interesting videos. These are, these are some of the tomato uh, from Chard Pool we got them from Bangladesh. And quite interesting to know how they will taste. Uh, I was told this is one of the nicest tomatoes that you can get in Bangladesh. These are plum tomatoes and hopefully um, they, they're coming up quite nicely actually. Dad, have you ever tried one of these tomatoes? Uh, uh, in Bangladesh, I've it tastes really nice. The one behind you. Oh, this one? This, this one is also looking great. Yeah, this one's gone really big. Yeah. The, the tomato plants are looking great. We do spray aspirin onto our tomato plants, by the way. They're very good. So spray aspirin and Epsom salt on your tomato plant in addition to your normal fertilizer. I can't wait for our mishti lao to grow uh, more bigger um, so we can make another pumpkin pie. I think we should make another another dessert with mishti, mishti yeah. lao this year. So we intend to make a lot of uh, cooking videos using our homegrown uh, vegetables. So stay tuned for that. I hope you are sharing my videos. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Stay safe, Asalaamu Alaikum, and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I really hope that five tips have, we have given you on how to get more chilies from your chili plant was useful to you. If you find that useful, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share our videos. 
and if you're interested in buying any of our chili plants we'll be selling them from next week i will leave the leave my email on the link in the description down below if if you're interested please get, send me an email with your telephone number and i will send you pictures of the plants and i will let you know how much we're selling them there'll be different prices at different stages but they're going to be all mature chili plants they're not small chili plants all chili plants with fruits on them until then stay safe happy gardening assalamu alaikum and i'll see you in the next one